and the mawaqit or the miqat, there are two types. Some of them relate to a place, i.e. landmarks, and others, others relate to a particular time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wanted to ennoble and exalt this house, Bayt Allah al-Haram. And for this reason, in order to honor and exalt Bayt Allah al-Haram, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it a condition that whoever intends to visit and make Umrah or Hajj, before he even enters into that area, he has to have assumed the state of Ihram, meaning he's wearing those clothes which consist of uh, the, the Izar uh, and the, 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 top, the two garments. Uh, so for example, from Britain, uh, whenever the plane comes from Britain, the majority of the cases, it passes over Jeddah. And so before a person reaches the landmark, he should have assumed the ihram. So for example, the people who are traveling in for Hajj from Britain, many of them, they will begin to wear the clothing of ihram, meaning the top and the izar, before they even get on the plane. At Heathrow, for example, they start changing their clothes. And this is permissible. However, you do not enter into the state of ihram by way of intention, until you are, or just before you are about to pass over the miqat. And this is why you find that the captain of the plane, about five or ten minutes before you pass over the miqat, he will make an announcement that we are parallel to the miqat, and so assume your ihram, i.e. by way of intention, and then enter into the state of ihram. And sometimes there are some groups or travel organizations and instead of stopping at Jeddah, their first stop is al Madina, meaning straight from Britain to al Madina to Nabawiya. And therefore in that situation, a person enters into the state of Ihram from the Miqat of al Madina. So these are Mawaqeet which relate to landmarks. Whoever passes by these landmarks has to pass by them in a state of Ihram. 